Hello guys, welcome back with me, like Devs. In today's video, we'll be learning about how we can create quiz game in Godot, how we can make it. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, we need to create new project in here, and we type quiz game, and then after that, we will use uh, the path in here. I will use engine, and then also contents, and I will create folder quiz game okay create folder quiz game okay yeah right here and select current folder okay make sure the path is right and also I will use uh, the s3.0 renderer you could also use S2.0 if you want to create web game, but S3.0 will be best for visual quality. Okay, create and edit. All right, and after that, we will use 2D and user interface. And then also, I will add the background first okay we type texture all right all right and then after that don't forget to expand it and also add anchor in here on the right one and on the bottom one okay you will see the background will be like this and we put the image where we can put the image in on the texture in here okay click load oh no where is the image okay we need to put it uh open the folder and find your assets okay i've got downloaded this asset Control c i will Control c and i will create folder in here gfx so uh, in this folder i will put the assets of the game okay explore okay and then we can load it again choose gfx and we will see the whiteboard okay so i will align it a little bit here all right and then after that, I will put the label on the screen in here. So how we can edit? Just add label. Label. Okay. Create. Okay. You notice the small thing over there. Uh, and we need to drag in here. Okay. We need to put the end core also on this place so where's the tag okay we can put the tag on here and testing okay where's the text uh we cannot see the tag because we need to color it okay open the dim overrides colors and check the font color all right we could see the text over here and also i will use custom font in here how good at the custom font click fonts and also new dynamic font click the rectangle place in here and choose font okay after that we load the font if we look at the GFA, there is no font file in here, so we need to copy it first. Okay, contents, assets, and this is the font file. I will control C and control V in here. GFX. Okay. And then we can load the font in here. Yep okay i will change the font size because uh it, i think it's a little 
it's too little the font but first of all i need to put it in fill also this in fill also okay we will find the size font size okay in here we type 24 hmm i think it's still uh, too little how about 40 okay here's the font okay we need to expand it a little bit okay we can continue to expand this expand this and then if we type lots of he of it and the text will overflow the whiteboard so how we could make this text not overflow okay we need to check this auto web okay let's see you will see the text is not overflow right now okay next we add the list item in here list item okay item list create drag and drop in here all right and i will drag and drop in here also and then after that uh, i will expand this a little bit okay don't forget to make the end cut of right is one whoa it's too much okay only like this and add the items add 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 okay okay after we add the item list i will custom the team new team and we type item list in here at type and then in here on the font color i will use black but the background i will use white okay i will search the background yeah the background change the color of white yeah okay after that the guide color uh, we don't need guide color we hmm some colors that so make the guide color is uh, transparent all right hmm i think it's better use cat color with this okay so as we can see in here we got the testing we got the main label and item list so we could choose where the correct answer and after that we will put button okay drag the button in here and expand it a little bit and add the text restart so if the game completed we will click the restart button so the game restart from the first start okay yep mm. all right we can see oh we need to save it first Control s to save it and save all right then start select 
on about the ASEAN. Yep, here's the unscripted game. Okay, we could see it like this. Hmm. Okay, I will change a little bit on the list item in here. The team. And uh, when the item is selected, I will use gray color in here. Gray. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Click, click. Okay, that's better. Okay. All right, then. All right. Right now, we got a problem here. So, if we uh, add the text in here and adding more, more, and more, the text will be overlap uh, and not clear in here. So, how we can fix this? How we can fix this is click control, add child node, and we add the container. We will container, okay? And after that, we add the label in here, item list in people container also, and the bottom also. Okay, on the people container. Don't forget, add it on people container. All right. Okay, don't worry, it's not messed up. We need to configure this a little bit. I'll click layout and click full right, and also the the anchor keep ratio and then we could see in here the item list expand the, the item list okay and then we adjust this into the whiteboard i think i need to make this center Okay, I think it's better like this. All right, and in this uh, list item, I will add the margin top. Okay, margin, margin top, a hundred. Hmm, I think it's too much, 80 maybe. Okay. Okay. Okay, we finished the user interface. Maybe you could make better than me, that's great. And then after that, we will continue create the script so we can interact with the game. All right, guys, we will continue on the next video. By the way, if you like this content, you can support us on Coffee and check out our service on Piper. If you want us to create this, this, and this. Okay guys, see you later!